and welcome back to Finding 50. Today I'm going to do a natural gray hair tutorial. So this is going to be, um, well, not only natural gray hair tutorial, long <laughs> natural gray hair tutorial. Um, a lot of tips on how to take care of your hair, how to make it thick and strong, and a get ready with me. Also, you don't have to have gray hair to watch the video because it has good tips on how to take care of your hair. But if you do have gray hair, it's definitely a good video for you to watch. So here we go. So this, so this particular product is amazing for your skin and hair for any age, but especially if you are an older woman and the vitamin C for your skin is like incredible and the other two I use for my skin as well as my hair and I'm going to show you how I apply it. So I have very very dry hair, very coarse and dry hair and I get a lot of dandruff because of that and I just want to share this little secret. So before you shower and wash your hair or before you wash your hair this rose seed oil is amazing. It's like incredible i'll link it down below it works on dandruff like it gets rid of your dandruff it moisturizes your hair i have dry dry hair so it's just a must i also use it on my skin so vitamin c for uh any woman is like a must for your daily skin regimen it's just a must but even more so for someone um, that is over, I want to say over 30, but let's say over 40 and 50, you need to use this daily. So the rose hip oil, you're going to apply to your scalp before you wash your hair. And then the Aragon oil, you are going to put on after you wash your hair. I'm gonna jump in the shower, wash my hair, and I'll be right back. And then this is if I just squish it up and let it be its natural curly self. I never wear it, just natural. This is how I used to wear it, but I don't anymore. And now I blow dry it, completely dry, and then I straight iron it. to straight iron. This is the straight iron I use. I use it at 400 because my hair is extremely thick and very thick and very coarse. I literally have enough hair for three people. All right, so I'm ready to straight iron my hair. I have so much hair that I need to allocate two hours time if I need to wash and dry it. Two and a half hours if I'm going to wash, dry, and straight iron it. Look at the difference between this and this. Whew, hot flash.
Right, let's get this over with. My goodness. Someone's entire head of hair right there. It's getting too much right now. I'm really, really hot. Actually, I'm really upset because I hate this so much. Right mind would want to do this. So this is my signature hairstyle that I still wear that people have told me I'm too old to wear. So I brush my hair and I pull it up very tight. It's a high ponytail. I put it, pull it up the height, height that I want it. And then I use a tight rubber band. And then I use a second rubber band. And tighten it and then I get a comb and make sure that these hairs are tight because I hate when they're out on the sides it makes me so annoyed and um, this is how I usually wear my hair when I'm out running around in a high ponytail. Um, I've actually had male family members say that it was ridiculous because I was too old to wear my hair like this, but I actually really like it and I'm not gonna stop wearing my hair like this because I like it. I already don't wear it down because of my age, so I'm definitely going to be able to wear it like this. When I'm having a massive hot flash, which is <laughs> all day long. Then I, or when I'm like busy running, like I don't want my hair in my way, then I just do my high bun. And there you have it. Simple, easy, that's my hair. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today. Um, if you did enjoy the, the tips or the video at all, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see some more. And I hope you have a blessed and amazing day. Bye.